Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the greatest day today. Easter is right around the corner. This year is absolutely flying, so I thought I would sit down today and share with you guys what I'm putting in our kids' Easter baskets. If you have been here before, you know that I love celebrating. I don't care what it is, but holidays, I just love them. I've always loved holidays. I've always loved getting together with family and friends and celebrating, but there's something different when you become a parent and are able to make those days super magical for your kids. So that is what it's all about. You guys know that I get excited about this stuff and I love sharing my ideas because I love getting ideas from other people as well. So leave me in the comments down below what you guys like to gift your kids in their baskets. Um, I'm gonna need ideas for many years to come. If you are new here though, welcome. My name is Rachel. I have a three and a half year old son, Xavier, and a now 10 month old daughter, Melania, which she's gonna be a year pretty soon and I'm like feeling some type of way about it. So anyways, um, Melania was really difficult to pick stuff out for an Easter basket because honestly, like she doesn't need anything. Um, she'd be happy with just an empty basket, but I can't do that. So I am, I do try to be very intentional with the things that I buy. I don't like just buying random tchotchke stuff to like fill a basket. Like it's such a waste to me. I rather have fewer items or maybe things that cost a little bit more, but things that I know that my kids are gonna love. Um, but with Melania's basket, there are a couple of things. <laughs> I feel like such a dirt bag, but I'm passing down from Xavier to her. She's not gonna know the difference. She's gonna love it, but I just feel weird about it. But anyways, I um, will start off first with their Easter baskets. There are so many different Easter baskets out there. Um, I, again, am a firm believer in doing it right the first time. And when Xavier was very little um, and his first Easter came around, I knew that I wanted the Pottery Barn Easter basket. There was no question about it. I know that it's really good quality. I know it will last him 30 years if that's what we wanna do with it. So that's what I did. Um, I did get the larger of the two sizes just because why not? Um, if you're already spending the money, <laughs> you might as well, I guess. Um, I did do his in all white and I had his name printed in blue on the ear and I just have green grass in his. I use the same grass every year. Um, his basket is stored in just a big box in the basement so it doesn't get damaged. And I do also have extra grass. I have all of his eggs that I use over and over every year and then an extra bag of eggs because I bought two and just didn't wind up using these. Melania's basket, um, same exact basket. I have to tighten or tie the sides up a little bit, but hers of course is pink. And then I had her name written in pink on the ear as well. And I, I just love these baskets. I just think they are absolutely precious and I, I don't regret spending the money on them because again, I also know that I will be using them. I, I hope I'm still making them baskets when they're 20 and 30 years old. Like that's, I still plan on doing that for sure. So for Melania's basket at Walmart, I found this um, grass. I don't know if you can tell, but half of it, like one side of the paper is like a holographic. So it's like color shifting. I bought four bags of this because I wasn't sure how much I would need. Um, and then I did buy these glitter eggs because I thought they were just precious, but I see a bunch of glitter on the bottom and she's 10 months old, teething like crazy, and literally her hands are always in her mouth. So I know that she's gonna put this in her mouth too. So I probably will hold off on these. Um, the intentions were good, but after thinking about it, it's not gonna work. So <laughs> we'll keep those for another year. Now, for the items for Melania that I feel weird about um, taking from Xavier, and, and, and mind me, like Xavier does not play with these things. He has grown out of them. This bunny I bought him, I think for his first Easter, and I don't think he's touched it since. Like he loves animals, but he doesn't play with a lot of stuffed animals. He plays with like his dinosaurs. So um, I will also try to link everything down below in the description box if I can find everything. Um, 
but this bunny is from Melissa and Doug. I got them on Amazon and I love the Melissa and Doug products. I love their toys, their games, the puzzles for kids. They're just really good quality. And I thought he was just, she, whatever it is, um, the absolute cutest. So going in Melania's basket. And then the other item I took from his room, which again, he doesn't play with. Now that he sees it again, he probably will. But this is just like a wooden Montessori toy and it has a whole bunch of carrots with different size holes and you just have to find what slot they fit in. Um, is Melania like the perfect age for this right now? Probably not. I don't remember the age on it, but I know that she'll like at least taking them out. Um, and again, Xavier has kind of outgrown this. So She's going to be getting that. And then two books I took out of his room. Both of my kids love books. I'm not exaggerating when I say Xavier has a stack of books like this that we read every single night to him. He loves books. He always has. So every holiday, there's at least one book coming around. So I took um, this one, the Baby Touch and Feel Bunny, and it has all the different like furs on there um, or textures, so I think she'll like that one. And then also the Itsy Bitsy Bunny. This is like literally brand new for whatever reason. It just wasn't a very reached for book for Xavier, so hopefully Melania will get better use out of it, and it's nice because it's one of those board books. It's really thick. And then um, the other two books that I did buy. This one is the Pika Flap Hop book. We, Xavier has multiples of these. He has the dinosaur, Halloween, animals, and I think one more. Um, he loves these books. They're like, again, the thick board books, and then they have, you know, the flaps that go up and down um, with little things underneath it. So I thought she would like that one. And again, Xavier will wind up reading it too. And then How to Catch a Unicorn. These are some of our favorite books. They have at least 15 of them out there, and they have one for like every holiday. They have How to Catch a Lovasaurus, a Leprechaun. They do also have, which is a Target, Target exclusive, How to Catch the Easter Bunny. I went to Target the other day and I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna try to order it online and just give it to him before um, so we can read it at night in his repertoire. I always like to read him books like now we're doing all springtime books because we're going into spring um so i try to like rotate the books out depending on what season or holidays are coming up so this will be her first how to catch a book which i'm super excited about and again xavier will want to read it too um and then i did get her two binks because she loves her binks i have i'm not even kidding like seven binkies all around her crib so when she wakes up she can just find one and she self-soothes and I'm telling you it works like a charm so if you haven't tried it and have a baby that has a hard time getting back to sleep give it a whirl um, this one says you are magical and then there's a unicorn on the other and we use the Tommy Tippy Xavier always really liked these and Melania does too and then I have her two snacks. So these are the Serenity Kids um, Puffs. They are grain-free. These are broccoli and spinach. They're made with bone broth. Um, they are organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, all the good stuff. Um, there is protein in them. There's no soy, rice, corn, nuts, sweeteners, or gluten. Here comes beef. Um, and then there's no artificial preservatives, seed oils, colors, or flavors. So... Um, they're more expensive than the regular puffs, but they're just a better quality and she loves them. She, we already have the tomato and herb and she crushes them. I, th it was weird on the flavor. I'm like, oh, I don't know if she's gonna like it and she loves them. So she hasn't had these before. So that'll be a new addition. And then also these Amara organic smoothie melts. These are like the yogurt melts, um, same thing. They're no sugar added. They're non-GMO, USDA, um, organic. They have none of the crap in them. Um, and that's, again, all of that stuff is a lot more expensive, but I believe in just giving them really, really good stuff. So these I did find on Amazon. They have a few different flavors as well. Mr. Beefy, are you for real? He's sitting right next to the camera, scratching. Come here, come say hi. Come, here. come say hi. I know, everyone likes to see you. You're gonna sit with me? He has to be here. If I'm on the ground, he has to be on the ground. Um, so anyways, that is it for Melania. Um, after I go through Xavier's stuff, we will pack the baskets. Um, 
Xavier, I don't even remember what I got. It's just like stuff I've been getting and then just like throwing in my office. Um, so for him, we have, let's do this. I pulled everything out of his bag. Um, so this is super random, but of course, are you for real? <laughs> the big oaf. Um, I found this at Office Max on clearance. It is a little dig set. Um, it says ages, oh Jesus, um, ages six plus. And it just looks like a little digger. Um, a T-Rex skeleton model and a figurine of the Velociraptor blue and an amber replica with excavation tools. So, and this was like super, super, I don't remember how much it was, but I know that it was like, as soon as you walk in, it was on the clearance table. And I'm like, oh, well, I have to have that. Um, so that's his one dinosaur thing for his basket, of course. Um, and then the other thing that I got, these are super random. These are those um, poppin' pipes. My sister's girls have these, and every time we're there, he grabs these and play with these. So I might take them out of the box and just like stick them out of the basket, but he loves them. Um, I think I got them on Amazon, and I know he'll be excited about those. And then um, I just found a random um, orange star slinky that I thought he would like. I don't remember where I found this, probably Target. Um, and then I did get him some Play-Doh foam. He has never played with this before, so it'll be interesting because he's weird. Um, he doesn't like his hands getting dirty. It'll be interesting to see if he likes the texture of this or not. He loves like Play-Doh and slime and stuff, but this one, it'll be interesting. So I thought he would have fun with that. And then I have two packages of Play-Doh slime that were left over from his Valentine's basket. So I'm going to put those in there as well. And then I did get him two different um, packs of crayons that looked very Eastery. I got the Colors of Kindness. I don't know what that means. And then <laughs> Neon Crayons, Always Brave a Warm Hug. Oh, so the names of these are like really cute. It says Spread Your Wings, Breathe Deep, Always Brave a Warm Hug, Sky's the Limit. So those are cute. It's just like the names are um, nice. Um, and then the neon ones, so those will be fun. He has like a thousand crayons. Does he need more? No, but he loves to color. He loves to do stuff. So those will just be a nice addition and he doesn't have these colors. Just making excuses now. Um, oh, I do have this book. Mom brain. How to catch an Easter bunny. <laughs> So I must have seen this on Amazon and ordered it there. The Target one must be a different version or maybe it's just bigger or because it definitely looks a little different than that. That one's blue, I think. Um, so, okay, so I do have the book. I don't have to worry about it. But um, again, he loves these books and I know he'll be super excited about this too. They're just, they're just really well-written books. They're cute. Um, I can't believe I did that. I'm not surprised though because I ordered that a while ago. That's the thing. I find stuff on Amazon like six months before a holiday and I add it to my cart and just save it for later. And then I go back through and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. And I add it up, but then I'll order it like two months before something. And then, you know, I forget what I'm doing because that happens. So anyways, I digress. As far as the snacks go for Xavier, Xavier, if you've watched any of these videos before from me, um, he's a weird kid as far as he doesn't love like a ton of sugar and candy and chocolate. Um, he's very particular about the stuff that he does eat. So um, what I am putting in there for chocolate for him, I am doing one of these um, lint gold bunnies. I don't know that he's gonna eat this. And if he doesn't, it's fine because I will eat it. I absolutely love these. But he has to have like a chocolate Easter bunny in his basket. So that's the one I did. Um, he does like Lindor truffles. So Lind, Lindor, yeah. So he likes the chocolate ones. And I have these usually like in a bowl. These are shaped in Easter eggs. So I'll probably just like spread these throughout his basket. And again, if he doesn't eat them, I will eat them. I have no problem doing that take one for the team. He will probably like these. He likes a lot of the Quest products. He eats the Quest protein chips, the cookies, the bars, like he really likes them. So I did, they have these mini um, peanut butter cups. So um, we'll see if he likes those. And again, if not, dad and I will eat them. 
he does really like these too. So these are the Quest um, cheese crackers. These are like Cheez-Its. They're so good, um, so good. And then these I know he loves. These are, um, I think it's called Who. Um, but they are grain-free cookies and um, it says get back to human. So I have peanut butter and snickerdoodle and he loves these. And the nice thing is, is he'll grab one out of the bag and that's all he asks for. So put those in there and then his favorite candy are the Smart Sweets, the peach rings. So I have two bags of those. I will stick in there too. Um, and that's it. That is it. <sighs> he has so much stuff, but you know, it's just an age thing. So let's put these baskets together and I will show you what they look like. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that turned out they're so cute I always struggle getting this stuff in the back to like prop up right um, not that it matters the kids are gonna love them either way but I always struggle with that so I'm glad that these are done I now have to go find a hiding spot for them my kids are everywhere in this house so in their big basket so it's hard to like find a spot so I'm probably gonna have to go in the basement somewhere but anyways I really enjoyed sitting down and putting these together with you guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps support my channel and I would love if you subscribed so you can be part of my YouTube family leave me um, 
ideas in the comment section, please. I always love hearing what other people do for their kids um, or traditions, like something that you do every single year in their basket. I love hearing that stuff to get new ideas myself. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.